Bennett. Um, I rode in 2013 for the Oxford Blue Boat and I'm currently on the British national squad. Uh, we've just come back from the World Championships in Amsterdam and became world champions. Uh, tough. Um, I think coming into, so I'd, I'd been at university in London and kind of spent four years doing rowing and, and uh, academics on the side and kind of thought it'd be a continuation of that and it was completely different. <laughs> um, really, really tough, uh, really late nights, really, really long, hard training days. Um, it, you know, it was made easier by the fact that the boat race is a, a really incredible opportunity um, and so I kind of pull myself through it, but, but really hard going, really, really hard going. I think it gives people who work hard the opportunity to be um, to be properly recognised for the efforts they put in. You know, I think that the, the boat race is a really difficult physical and mental exercise, and I think it's a real shame that for for years women haven't been afforded the same um, recognition that the men have purely because of the, the fact it's on TV, um, and so the fact that now women will also be given that recognition is, is really great, really brilliant. I can't, I can't think of anything I'm, I'm happier about than, than that now being afforded to women this year. I mean, I, you know, I don't need to give these girls any advice. <laughs> you know, they're in, they all know what they're doing. They've all done races like this before. Some of them are so much more experienced than me, it doesn't bear thinking. <laughs> I think some of them have beaten me, in fact. Um, so any advice I give them would kind of be a little short-sighted. You know, the boat race is something unique in itself, but they've all done trilates, so they have good experience of what it's like. The day I looked forward to most was uh, so two weeks before we move into a hotel in Putney and everything is so much simpler. Your life suddenly becomes so much simpler. You're not, you're not waking up at five in the morning to come and do an ergo and then rushing off to, to the lab. You, you get up in the morning, you go train on the race course, you go back, you relax. It's bliss. <laughs> From that moment on, everything gets a little bit better until the race day and then everything gets horrible again. But yeah, that, that was probably the day I was looking forward to most, the day where I could say, okay, this is now my focus. This is, this is what I need to think about and this is what I'm now allowed to purely think about. My interaction with Newton was fairly limited, so I, but BMI Mel, you know, only supportive. They, they wanted to meet us, they wanted to chat to us, they wanted to see how we're doing, they wanted to understand better what we went through in a day. Um, they wanted us to come to offices um, that they have in London. Um, they, you know, they, they were really very motivated and excited to be a part of this as, as much as they could. Um, and I think that like with any new relationship, I think it, time, it takes time for you to, to understand each other and to understand what's possible. Um, and I've no doubt that as the years have gone forward, both parties have become more well acquainted with what the other party is capable of and how best they can, you know, uh, help to accentuate each other's positives and, and maybe improve each other's negatives a little bit. It's that obvious. I'd have more fun, obviously. <laughs> Go out more. <laughs>